Hi, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is how to do expressions and equations. As a student moves up into higher levels of algebra, we should be able to solve more complex equations with more complex expressions built into those equations. Let's take a look at our example. We have 2x minus 7 over x cubed plus 6x squared minus 8x times 3x cubed plus 18x squared minus 24x over 3x plus 24 is equal to 1. The first thing I want to do is treat each numerator and denominator as a problem all its own, and I want to factor those problems. So I have 2x minus 7. Unfortunately, I can't factor anything out of that, so we'll leave that alone. But down here, I see that I have an x in common with all three terms, so I can pull that out. So x and then goes inside, we have x squared plus 6x minus 8 times, now up here on this numerator, I see that I have a 3x in common, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. And left on the inside, I have x squared plus 6x minus 8. And down here, I only have a 3 in common, so I can go ahead and pull that out as well. And on the inside, I have x plus 8 is equal to 1. So now I see that I have quite a few things that I can cross cancel. For example, I have this big trinomial right here, x squared plus 6x minus 8, and the, again over here, x squared plus 6x minus 8, which means that I can cancel them both out. Another thing I can cancel out is this 3 that I see right here and down here. And if it's in the numerator and the denominator, then that means I can cancel it out. The last thing that I see that I can cancel is this x right here can cancel with this x over here. And it looks like that's about it. So now I'm just going to multiply my simplified expression straight across, numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So on the top, all I'm left with is this 2x minus 7. And on the bottom, all I'm left with is x plus 8. And it's still equal to 1. But I know that if something is divided by something else and it equals 1, then I know that those two somethings must equal each other. So I have 2x minus 7 is equal to x plus 8. And from here, it's very easy to solve. I'm going to subtract x from both sides which leaves me with x minus 7 equals 8, and then simply add 7 to both sides. And I'm left with x is equal to 15. So, I'm Drew Moyer, and that is how to do expressions and equations.